What's my mother name? What's up guys, Kdub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and we're going to be jumping right into the action. I'm using the Phantom Banisher deck in the Silver Moon Hall. Now I am Phantom, but we're going to be seeing things from Scorpio's perspective. I have a full heal, double chance, two max revive, Phantom Energy, and a Microwave Oven. I had a long throw, but I wanted to try out having two max revives. We have a level 5 Rotom, level 10, chain level 6 Heat Rotom, and then we have a chain level 10, level 10 Sableye all into the gold, and we have a chain level 7 level 10 Sableye all into the Confuse Ray, level 10 Mimikyu with three chain levels, chain level 1, level 9 Poliwrath for the Confusion, Frostlass I believe is level 7, and then our opponent, three Swablu, three Sylveon, two of the Swablu aren't even level 5, he has a Hurdle Jump and a Max Revive, kind of a, you know, standard plate loadout for Swablu, you know, round deck with the Sylveon, so we could potentially get some banishes off if we can get a surround on one of the Swablu and one of the Sylveon. So we force the opponent to kind of go defensive with the Swablu. It's you know, what they tend to do anyway. And then we're gonna match up our Poliwrath with that Sylveon because Sylveon's not gonna be nearly as good when it's confused. So the opponent is gonna continue to press forward. We're gonna go ahead and sit Sableye right down on the entry point. Now, the opponent's making a pretty risky play, uh, you know, moving in on our Poliwrath, I mean, it, it can knock us out, but it does have that dodge, and it actually does. It hits the dodge. And I'm like, man, we don't have the Phantom Energy played yet. I could take this around just to get the knockout. But I feel pretty confident going up against that Sylveon now that it's confused. It's either going to, you know, shift into the Moon Blast or the dodge. Potentially even a miss. So I missed my opportunity to get this around. I mean, we didn't really have a chance to play the Phantom Energy yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and go Heat, Rotom, and try to get a knockout on this Swablu now. If Swablu hits the round, I mean, we could still potentially get knocked out. Um, but if we can hit that Overheat, that 145, we're still hitting for 85 damage. So, I mean, the Swablu pretty much has to hit Peck, which they like to hit, you know, quite a bit. I mean, the round is sizable, but it has the, uh, the Cotton Guard and it has the Peck. Ooh, so we hit the Discharge, but we get lucky we don't get knocked out. We have all our Pokemon on the field, and the Swablu actually hits the peck. So we are going to get the knockout. Now, the round is going to be much easier to deal with now. So the opponent moves over. I'm definitely going to go in for the attack again, because we can totally get the knockout now. And the Swablu is still a fire type so we're you know causing them to do that minus 30 damage sylveon's gonna move over i'm gonna take this opportunity now to cover up the goal with mimikyu mimikyu's a pretty good defender especially if it's hitting curse you know you have two lives with that disguise marker and you can potentially punish the opponent going in for a yolo if you can follow up with a surround after with a max revive or if you have another pokemon close our Sableye is going to hit that Shadow Sneak. We are going to get knocked out. One Sylveon is already um, confused. So we're going to go ahead and just try to confuse the other one. But we get a knockout. The Sylveon hits a miss. This Sylveon hits a miss. Shifts into the round. Like what's going on with these misses on the Sylveon? So one, the opponent gets knocked out. The second one, it's, you know, pretty lucky for the opponent coming in clutch with a, with a knockout. And they are going to shift into the Moon Blast, so, you know, Confusion's going to go off, which is fine. I'd, I'd love to get another knockout, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. I mean, the Sylveon's already confused. At this point, we can't even get a Banish by surrounding a Pokemon because there's only two of each on the field. So the opponent goes in for another attack on our Mimikyu and hits another miss into the round. And, I like, I would have loved to hit Curse there, and, and punished that Sylveon for moving in that way. And because, you know, we can max survive, we're going to be able to surround. And again, we're not going to get a banish because you have to have three Pokemon between the bench and the field. And that Sylveon is going to hit another miss. So these Sylveon have been hitting a lot of miss. But, you know, in the, uh, two separate occasions, it actually benefited the opponent because they were confused, allowing them to shift into the round attack. So, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty crazy. Swablu going in for like that, you know, <laughs> trying to get a clutch knockout on our Sableye. Not going to happen. But they do get a clutch knockout against our Frostlass. We hit another miss. Like a ton 
of Miss going off in this matchup. So we're going to press forward with the Sableye. The opponent's going to go in for try, you know, a miracle knockout on our Heat Rotom. And, uh, you know, Cotton Guard's going to go off. We are going to move up with our other Sableye. Threaten game. So they're going to have to move over. And again, we're going to have to hit a miss here for the Swablu to be able to get a knockout. But we hit the Shadow Sneak, which would, you know, in most cases knock out the Swablu. But... You know, they had the Cotton Guard marker, so they don't get knocked out, but we're able to just bypass right through for the win. So GG to the opponent. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that matchup. For any of you who've yet to see me use that deck, or if you've seen me use that deck before, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. But we have an insane notice. We just got a bombshell on how they're going to be changing how Megas are used, and now they're going to be doing a ton of reworks on some of these Mega Pokemon, so it's pretty awesome. So on the 16th, after maintenance, you can expect all these changes to be implemented, and make sure you reallocate your wheels. Now it's saying at the start of the duel, you're going to be automatically given a Mega Evolution plate set automatically for each mega figure in your deck but it also says right here you will no longer be able to include multiple copies of the same mega evolution plate in your deck which allowed for strategies that uh, involved mega evolving the same pokemon repeatedly but if you're running three you know mega altarius are you going to be given three altari plates or are you still only going to get one you know, because it says for each mega form, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think I think we should get three, but that would be pretty broken. Mega Venusaur is going to be the first to get some reworks. 150 Solar Beam it'll have. Also, it used to give five weight to Poison Pokemon if it moved over top of them. Now it's going to exclude them from the duel for seven turns. That's pretty insane, guys. Now, EX Venusaur is also going to get 150 Solar Beam, and they're going to get rid of that Vine Whip and give it a Protect. So that's pretty awesome. It's going to give it a lot more survivability. And even though it's 1 MP, uh, you can make other Pokemon get a minus 1 MP uh, marker when they're poisoned or noxious. Uh, so I don't know. Mega Venusaur, Venusaur, definitely going to be pretty good now. Mega Charizard X and Y. They're going to get a times 60 Bright Flame. Like, that's pretty awesome. And you got to think if you evolve it, you know, it, it, it's going to have a 70. And then it's getting a, another t plus 20 on top of that. So that's a 90 with a single spin. Uh, wow. You know, Charizard going to be a 2 MP out the gate. No longer needing to evolve. Thank you, Lord. Like Mega Charizard X and Y are super scary, guys. So the fact that Charizard's 2 MP is going to be really good. A lot more people are going to use them. Mega Blastoise, EX Blastoise are both going to have a 140 Hydro Pump. Now, I'm really good with Mega Blastoise getting that damage increase. It should be strong. For EX Blastoise, I feel like the 100 was fine. It just needed one extra star. Or make War Turtle a lot more viable so you can evolve it. And unfortunately, I already went through the list. They don't include War Turtle, but I feel like they should have. Because the, the spinner's really small. I don't know. It's tough to evolve without having a bunch of mana fee and X attacks and stuff like that. Mega Swamper. It's going to go from a 70 Ice Punch to a 100. And then you have, uh, or yeah, Mega Swamper from a 70 to a 100. And changed Hammer Hard from 110 to 140 on EX Swamper. Swamper decks were already pretty strong. And the fact that you can get 3 MP and move through other Pokemon is pretty insane. So now they're going to be a lot stronger. Mega Gallade and Gallade. This is an insane buff. Mega Glade's going to have a 140 Night Slash. Also going to have a 110. And then you got to think if you're evolving from Curlia, add another 20 to that. Uh, and then EX Glade's also going to uh, have a 140 and then a 90. Also, its ability that negates Psychic Type's abilities, such as like Lunala, right? When Glade first came out. Now, it's going to negate abilities for all Pokemon. So... <sighs> Like, I really wish I had this set now. I really do. And Curlia, they're going to increase the Psycho Switch. You know, decreasing Moonblast and Super Psy, making the evolution, like, pretty much guaranteed. Like, Curlia is a pretty easy evolution, so I really wish I had that set. They're going to be just great figures. Mega Sableye, getting a damage increase, which is nice. You're going to be able to knock out more Pokemon. Mega Sableye, as we know, can't be knocked out, but now it's actually going to be able to move through other Pokemon. So, like, it was annoying. That was the one thing that I didn't like about Mega Sableye is you couldn't move through other Pokemon. So pretty awesome. I really wish I had Mega Sableye now. But the best buff, in my opinion, in this update, 
Mewtwo. It's going to have a base 100. And then you get a plus 50 whenever you spin Psycho Cut the second time. So if you can get this thing to a chain level 9, it's going to be a perfect counter for Zoroark, right? Hitting for 109. And then if you hit a double spin, it's going to be hitting 159. Mega Mewtwo X and Y don't get a buff. They really need one. But Mega Mewtwo X is definitely going to be the better of the two because 140 on Mega Mewtwo Y just isn't going to cut it anymore. You know, so they may have to they might have to rework them. But Mega Mewtwo X with the ability, uh, you know, stacking more turns can't be knocked out. It's just sent to the bench, and then you can come right back out without weight. Pretty amazing. One of my favorite uh, parts. And then they, you know they gave B Drill. You know, no rework for Mega B Drill. Mega B Drill hasn't really been used much, but. I mean, Beedrill with an increased Toxic, and, you know, if you can get it to a level 10, chain level 10, I mean, it's a common, it takes like a year to get a chain level 10, but all these changes are, are pretty awesome. I'm really, really excited about the uh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo is probably one of my favorite updates. Venusaur looks pretty good. There's going to be some hidden cheese that I'm, I'm not going to leak out just yet. Uh, somebody brought it to my attention in N, so shout out, you know who you are. Uh, we were talking about it, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped about this update, guys. Let me know in the comments. Like, I know some of you are scared, and it kind of is a whale update. Like, if you don't have any Mega Pokemon, like, like it's going to be a little bit scary. It's going to be tough for you to go against, you know, really good, solid decks that also have Mega Evolution forms if you don't have any. But, I mean, it should work itself out eventually after a little while. You know, people that have better decks should be able to climb up. If you lose a little bit, you might fall down further playing against players that you are going to be able to beat, which will get you back up to where you were. And, like, I feel like everything should kind of work itself out eventually. So just hang in there. Use the best deck that you have, best figures that you have, and, like, everything should kind of work itself out. And then you can pray to Orange Jesus Pray to Arceus, and you can talk to Tia or Maribel, whoever's in your shop. Tell her you want some of those UX Mega Pokemon, and, you know, just do the best that you can, guys. You know? Like, I'm sure I'm going to be losing more matches now as well. Like, everybody's going to be having free Megas, so it's going to be a lot more RNG as well. So, I don't know. Like, you don't always lose because the player is better, believe me. <laughs> um, but there's a few things that I wanted to talk about. I don't understand everything that's in these notes, but the main thing that I noticed is here with, you know, the primal forms. Primal, Kyogre, and Groudon also works for Keldeo with the Keldeo Resolute. If they were cursed, whenever you go to knock them out, they weren't excluded. It, like, they were just able to transform into their other form without being excluded. So they are going to fix that. I thought that's the way they wanted it, but I guess it is a bug and they are going to fix that. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you're most excited for, for the new rebalances to come on the 16th. Like, I know some of you are scared, some of you guys are hyped, but I think that's going to wrap this video up. Guys, definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload, and follow me on Twitter at KDub175, and until the next one, later guys.